I think from what I know, I've been flying all day. Uh, it's my understanding that the legislature and the governor are going to fix it. I don't know what fix it means right now. I mean, there's three alternatives that you can choose from. Uh, you can amend it, you can pass an additional piece of legislation, or you can repeal it. Those are sort of the three choices that the legislature w will have. I do think that we ought to take a little bit of a pause here and see what the bill really does, see what the fix can be, and have an intelligent discourse on two very fundamental principles that are wrapped around this issue. The principle of religious freedom and religious liberty, and the principle of non-discrimination, that there should not be any tolerance of discrimination against one's race, religion, or sexual orientation. Now, those are two fundamental principles that I think most Americans believe in, and most people in Indiana. So let's have a discussion about that. And we can start with the federal law that these 30 states that are referring to, that they said was the federal law that was passed in 1993. Find out what the meaning of that was. Maybe they can have some hearings in Congress. So I think it, let's have a civilized debate on two you know, fundamental American principles. And let's do it in a very civilized, rational basis. So I, I would encourage, you know, let, let's fix it, take a step back, let's see what this is all about. Mr. Quayle, I'm a, an Indiana resident. You're an Indiana native. Went to high school, I live in Huntington. <clears throat> Went to college here, obviously. When this was all really starting to um, be a media firestorm, for lack of a better phrase, just personally, you know, your love for this state, and I'm guessing you were in Arizona when this was all really building steam. What was it like for you personally just to hear about the criticism that the state has been taking? Well, it hurt. I've, I've known Mike Pence for a long, long time. I think he's doing a, a good job as governor. I do not think that he had anticipated the backlash that this legislation was going to bring, uh, nor did the legislators that, that passed the, the legislation. Um, but we are where we are. And there is a firestorm, and it's got to be dealt with, and that's why it needs to be fixed. Because when you hear, you know, words like, you know, Indiana and Hoosiers believe in discrimination, um, you have people like Al Sharpton saying, oh, these, this is like slavery and the Jim Crow laws. I mean, you just sort of say, come on, you know, let, let's have a discussion. Let's have a rational discussion. Let's find out what this is all about. Um, as I said, you know, there's 30 states that either have a law similar to this or it's been codified. You have a federal law that's somewhat similar. So let's, let's talk about it. And maybe this can be an opening to have, you know, more progress in these very sensitive two areas that I mentioned. Being in the protected class, I don't have a, a, a real op a opinion on that. Um, I don't know if it, I mean, it, uh, that's certainly an option. A lot of states have that. It's, it's not at the federal level. Um, but that's something that could be discussed. Um, could be discussed in Congress, could be discussed in the state, state of Indiana. Um, figure out, you know, do you need it? If you have it, what does it mean? Don't, if we, since you don't have it, what does that mean? Let's talk about it. Can we be open about it? Can we be civil about it? I mean, this is this is a very these are two very you know important issues, constitutional issues, that sometimes compete against each other. Oh, I'm sure that he would say he could have done better, um, but. 
I didn't happen to see his news conference this morning, but he's a very, uh, he's done a good job as governor. He's, you know, created a lot of jobs. I know that's, you know, very much on his, his agenda. Um, he'll work his way out of this. He'll, he'll figure out, hopefully, the right fix. to be able to calm the waters and be able to go on to other things. Um, you know, how easy it will be will be how it's, how it's handled. But he's very he's a very skilled uh, politician, and I think he I, I I do not think he anticipated. Uh, you'd have to ask him. I'm just I probably shouldn't say this because I don't like to say what other people may think. But I really do not think he anticipated this backlash. I'm sure they felt there'd probably be some um, criticism of it, but he did not anticipate this. Had he anticipated, it, I seriously doubt that they would have done passed this law.